Yo, BJ with StreamFit here. If you like to work with dumbbells, get some nice pump going, and you like to work your backside, you're probably familiar with the bent over row, where you get the feet about hip width apart, you hinge back at the hips with the flat backs, your trunk is vertical to the floor, shoulders in the sockets, pull it, squeeze the shoulders together, down and back at the top, control it down. Great movement to work the entire backside, but the problem is most don't have the core stability, spinal strength, or hamstring flexibility to get into that position without doing this, rounding the back, letting the shoulders go over the place, and really start to look sloppy like a dying animal. We don't want that. So one way I found, an extremely safe way, to really get what it's like to do a rowing pattern is to do a reversed chest press. I can do this off a bench, a low box aerobic step, even an ottoman, whatever allows me to clear my elbow to get extended range of motion. I can do it on the floor, but just know that on the floor I'm not going to get that full range of motion where that hand approaches the armpit level. But the purpose here is I'm going to take what's a chest press and make it a one arm row in a line position. It's going to put your scapula and your spine in a perfect position. It's going to activate the backside of your body and it's going to have that mind muscle connection you need to use what's called the antagonist, the opposing muscles, right? So when you're doing chest presses, I'm working the front of my upper body musculature, chest, shoulder, and also the triceps here. But when I make it so I'm actually using the opposite muscles to pull down into it, it's going to allow me to better load and then explode in normal repetitions. Engage more muscles, make you stronger, more powerful. All right, so what I'm going to do is get to the point where I've got my upper mid back area kind of hinging on the box. I'm going to take, let's start with one dumbbell. I'm going to extend through the hips. So just my upper back shoulder and head is resting to allow me to get some clearance here. I'm going to make sure the shoulder is not up, it's down into the socket, and it's, I'm tight. And all I'm going to do here is start overhand, abs tight, glutes tight, one side loaded, core, right? Because I got the core's got to fight to prevent that rotation or going to the side. What I'm going to do is take three to four seconds to slowly pull down as if I'm doing a one arm row. Using my upper mid back, rear shoulder, biceps, I'm going to squeeze for a count at the bottom and then press up. Control, two, three, four, hold, pause, punch, one, two, three, four, pause, punch, and I would do that for timer reps. Rest briefly or switch sides, even amount of time or reps on both sides. And again, the key here is you might even want to start lighter weights, so lighter weights go a longer way on this. Really pull, squeeze, pause, explode, back, perfect position, learn how to do it the right way. I can also do the two arm version and really load it up like I'm doing a two arm row. So I'm locked in, hinge, pull the shoulders down and back in the socket, abs tight, don't extend the back. Posterior pelvic tilt, abs tight, brace, and then I'm going to pull like I'm doing a body weight row or bent over row, squeeze for a count, press up, shoulders down in the socket, abs tight, two, three, four, squeeze, press, and get it going. Again, safest way to work the back side of your body while you're also working your pressing muscles. We get core, we get glutes, really awesome movement I want you to start doing today. It'll carry over to everything else you do. When you start doing normal range reps and you can pull down with your upper back muscles, it's going to cause that elastic kind of stretch reflex to pop that weight up. Get StreamFit, free trial at StreamFit.com, streaming fitness videos on web, mobile, tablet, anytime, anywhere, and get with reverse press. We'll see you next time.